Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what's new in the new URC version 3.0. This update is free for all URC interface users and brings incredible new features for live streaming, tutorial creation, podcasting, game streaming and includes brand new zero latency DSP effects like the new real-time voice changer, compressor, gate, docker, delay and multiband compressor to make sure you sound the best you can on your streams and podcasts. Podcast. Let's see what's new. The first thing that I want to talk about in this video that's a game changer if you're doing any streaming, if you're doing podcasting, but at the same time you do music production is the new multi stream audio driver. Imagine this, you might want to use your interface for multiple tasks, maybe for music production, you might want to do podcasting, you might want to stream online, you might want to use it to take calls on Zoom, on Microsoft Teams, on Google Meet. Now this new feature allows you to do all this seamlessly and with a lot of control. So let me show you what the multi-stream audio driver is all about. Right here I'm on the Mac so I can go here to my sound settings and you will see that we have three different drivers to choose from. So we we have the UR22C DAW driver. This would be the driver that you would use for music production when you want to use a DAW like Cubase for example. The second option is a streaming music driver and this is a driver that's brand new and it's suitable for streaming live. So this is the driver that you would use on a program like OBS if you want to stream live and you want to have total control of the levels of your microphone, your DAW, your music and so on and so forth. This is also the driver that you would use for your operating system sounds like your Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all these things. And the third option is the voice driver. This would be the driver that you would use in an application like Zoom, like Google Meet, like Microsoft Teams when you want to take calls and have an interaction with another person. So in my case from my computer right here I'm going to select the Steinberg UR22C streaming music driver so I can listen to all my system sounds, anything that comes out of my music players and all these things. Next let me show you the new DSP mix effects for URC interfaces. So this is it, as you can see we have a new look with improved metering and the first thing that you will see is that we have two different mixes. So this was the original mix, this is our DAW mix and as you can see there's a neat feature right here so if I change my level right here in front of the UR22C I can see my levels right here changing so it reflects the changes. But the most important thing is this new stream mix. Now this is going to give you an amazing streaming experience if you're a streamer or a podcaster because this mixer gives you full control of what sound you're going to broadcast on your live stream. So as you can see I have control over my inputs so I can say how loud my voice is going to be, I can set up my voice levels right here for both inputs and depending on what kind of URC interface you have you're gonna see more inputs there. I can set up the level for my DAW so if I'm doing a tutorial on Cubase for example I can just set up my level right here. I can also have the level for my music so things like Spotify and so on and so forth. I can have the level of my voice driver here and also my send levels, my reverb and delay as you will see a little bit later. So just to give you an example let's play some music through Spotify and as you can see I can set up my level right here so that I can choose how loud the music is going to be compared to my voice for example. So I can raise my voice if I want to. And at this point I want to show you one of the new effects that's included in this new update and this is the Docker. So let's say I want to stream live, I want to do a podcast, I want to do a live stream and I want to do it through OBS. All I need to do is go to OBS here, I can go to my properties here on my audio and I'm going to select of course the UR22C streaming music driver. Now once I do this you will see that OBS gets the level of my mixer. So this stream mix goes into OBS and this is the audio mix that I'm going to stream and let's say I want to do a live podcast, I want to have some music playing in the background but I want to make sure that my voice is always audible and always easy to understand. The Docker can help you do this. So let me show you how that works. What I need to do is I can go to the music track because I'm going to play some music right now and I'm going to add the Docker here. 
Now, once I do this, I can click on this E button right here and I can select a Docker source. Now, the Docker source could be input one, which is my microphone right here. It could be input two, which I could have a second microphone here for a guest, or it could be the voice channel. Now, in this case, I'm going to use input one and input two. And what happens when I activate the Docker is that when my voice is present, when I'm talking, then the music volume is going to be reduced so that my voice is going to be heard nice and clear. So let's check this out. So now you will see that I have my music playing, but when I start talking, the level of the music will automatically go down. And when I stop talking, the music will smoothly and softly come up in level again. And this is great because this all happens in real time. The Docker takes care of everything. So you don't have to do any crazy fader moves. This is all happening without you having to think about it. And the great thing is that this is all DSP effects, which means that it's real time, it's latency free, and it doesn't tax your CPU. Now, while I'm doing this, I can go back to my mixer and change the level of the music. I can make it louder if I want to. But the Docker is still going to work in the background. So I'm always getting this great sound and my voice is always audible, nice and clear. And because all of this is going through the stream mix right here, this means that OBS picks up everything that I do on my mixer along with the Docker, along with all the effects. Now, the same exact thing you can do if you're doing, let's say, a live stream and you want to do a tutorial with your DAW. For example, right here, I have Cubase. And in this case, as you will see, I'm using the UR22C DAW driver in Cubase. But now I can stream the output of Cubase into my stream mix. So let's say I'm doing a live stream on music production. I'm doing a tutorial. I can just play my audio in Cubase. I can raise the level right here in the DAW. W fader. And while I'm doing the tutorial, I can also have a Docker. So while I'm playing the music inside my DAW, you can still hear my voice clearly. And this is again, all done automatically. So I don't have to worry about setting everything up. So the stream mix is going to be a great solution if you want to do live streaming, you want to do podcasting, you want to do live gaming streams, all these things. It allows you to set up the levels exactly how you want. And also now we have new DSP effects that are real time and latency free. So let me show you the new DSP effects that we have available in the URC version 3.0. As you will notice in this new stream mix page, there's an exclusive effects lot and this allows you to load three different effects we have a new gate we have a new compressor but there's also a new multiband compressor in the main output that allows you to have a great audio quality when you're streaming i'm going to show you in a second how that works but we also have a really cool new real-time voice changer effect and this lives right here so let me go and load it it's called pitch fix i'm going to select it and the first thing that you will see that it can do is that it allows me to select a scale and it can correct my voice so whoa. But the main thing that we can do is we can create creative effects. We can change the sound of the voice. We can change the pitch. We can change the format. So let me show you a few examples. Hey. So as you can see, it can change my voice like this. I can change the pitch like that. Or I can change the format so I can have a lower format or a higher pitched format. And you can do all these things in real time without the need to buy a separate app to change your voice. This is an effect that's desirable by live streamers. Sometimes gamers like to change the format of their voice. So this is all built in and it's real time. It doesn't tax your CPU again. It runs straight off the DSP of the URC interfaces. Next, we have a brand new gate. So this is going to be extremely useful if your room is not treated and you have a little bit of background noise and you want to get rid of it. This is very easy. You just turn it on right now. As we're filming this, we have a few fans going on with the lights and with the monitors. So what I can do is I can turn on the gate and you will see the difference. And you will see that now that I've turned on the gate, 
the background noise disappears. And when I'm talking, you can still hear my voice nice and clear. So this is fantastic. It all happens in real time and it allows you to get a nice clean audio. Next, we have another compressor that you can use on your live streams. And the other new effect that you will find in this update is the new delay right here. And this is a send effect, which means I can just turn up my send right here. Right here, right here. And I can introduce the delay. The delay looks like this. You can have it in mono or stereo. You can change the delay time, the feedback, and you can also choose the high ratio that is going to make the delay a little bit darker as it progresses. Another creative way that you can use the stereo delay, and this is something that I like to do, is use it as a looper. Let me show you. I'm turning the feedback all the way up, and now let's perform. So it's a lot of fun. And the last thing that I want to show you today is the multiband compressor. This is again a DSP effect and it's located right here on the main output of the stream mix. And I'm going to open it up right here. This is a multiband compressor, which means that it will take your signal that is going to be live streamed and it's going to give you the final polish, the final sheen. And it's also going to make sure that you won't have any clipping or anything like that. So if I activate this, everything will go through this effect. So the music, my DAW mix, my microphone, and this means that I can get a nice finalized sound. And now I'm going to turn it on and you will see that straight away this is going to affect my voice. And you will see that now I have a much bigger, fuller sound. And now I'm going to turn up my music and you will see that I have my Docker going on right here. And if I turn it off, it affects both my music and my input. So everything that goes through my channels here, my input, input 2, DAW music, it goes through the multiband compressor. And I can choose to add a little bit more bass, a little bit more mid-range if I want to, and of course, a little bit more top end. Whether you're streaming, you're doing podcasting, you're doing live gaming, you're doing tutorials, or you're doing music production, make sure you update your URC interface to this latest 3.0 update because it will change the way you do things. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.